What is going on, everybody? We are here today at Universal Studios Orlando to check out the new Minions Land. And there's a new ride. It's called Illuminations Villain Con Minion Blast. They're open for technical rehearsals. So we may or may not be able to show you that experience. If we can't, we're going to show you foods. If we can, we're going to show you foods. Yeah, because we haven't eaten. Well, we haven't eaten at the Minion Cafe yet. So come hang out with us today. Ray's going to take you along and show you some merch, I'm sure. And then, uh, did I mention the food? I think I mentioned the food already. And then we're going to try to experience this ride. Yeah, if we can experience Minion Blast, we're going to experience it. If not, did I mention food? <laughs> there's a sign that says Villain Minion Blast will be closing early today. Well, what's early? It says get in line fast to blast. I'm trying to figure out what's early. So let's head over there right now, right, to see if it's closed already. Perhaps since the sign is still up, it may very well still be open. Let's go see. Ray and I came to Universal Studios around 6 o'clock, 6.30. Uh, to beat the heat, but uh, no such luck. I believe the heat was waiting on us right at the turnstile when we gained entrance because it is hot. There's a little bit of a breeze going on right now, just a little bit. As soon as you walk in, what is this? What's this street name, Ray? Do you happen to know the name of this street? Is it Illuminations Lane, Boulevard, Avenue, Street? Do you know? Oh, there it is. It says Illumination Avenue. Right in front of my face. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Hated it. It is closed. Closed for the day? All right, so Villains Con Minion Blast. It's close, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. I really didn't come in here with the expectation that it's going to be open because we came late in the day. I'm upset that I wasted a cute outfit. Not every day you see a six foot minion. It's not every day. We can go eat, so it's not a fully wasted day. Right. And I prefer to eat than get on this attraction. Right. <laughs> Me too, but right. I'm telling nobody. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm telling everybody. What I didn't show you guys when we first walked in here, there's a bunch of minions just hanging out, like a little minion gang. There's one with purple hair. They're out here having a good time, it looks like. Look at my friend up here. He's hanging out, doing his own thing. And he's young, too. He has braces in his mouth. Minions seem to always be having fun, right? Since we're gonna do all things Minions, except get on Minion Blast, <laughs> I thought I'd let you know that Despicable Me Minion Mayhem is only a 30 minute wait, which is not a bad wait. I'm a little disappointed, right? I kinda wanted to experience this. Since we can't get in the inside of the club, we're going to hate from the outside of the club because that's what villains do. But what's dope about this picture, Ray, is you can see a bunch of the minions. They're doing cosplay <laughs> as their favorite villains. Uh, so these are all villains from the movie, the Minions movie. Do you remember? I do. The Villain Con International. Evil lives this way. A timeless retrospective. Is this something like D23 or Comic Con, Ray? I'm getting the sense that Villain Con is like Comic Con. I think it is. This post is my absolute favorite. I don't know what my man got going on, but a shirt is required. The service. The power of positive pummeling. I like it. Ray, I know you want to go in here. Ooh, and the air conditioning feels lovely. I showed them. No, they can watch the last video that I did here. Oh, yeah, that's we'll right. We'll leave the link down below with everything that's in this store, actually. Wow, there's a big giant cupcake with a minion on top of it with binoculars. He's on the lookout. I'm not really sure what he's searching for. Bake My Day sounds like a bakery. So, Bake My Day is a shop called Freeze Ray Pops right next to it. Next to that, there's a mobile pickup option. There's the Bank of Evil, and then the Minion Cafe. Right next to the Bank of Evil, there's a little brick wall with Minion graffiti on it. Little Minion tag artists. Looking around, and so far it is so cute. I'm like, looking at all this. They got an outside menu that lights up and tells you everything that's here. They have some outside seating area. They have some TVs that just don't look like they're on. But then look at the little decorations. We're right above me and some bananas, so they're tubes. It looks like the little tubes are shooting the bananas into the kitchen where they can make our food. And then they take our order and they shoot it through this one. Now this is all pretend, okay guys? Use your imagination. Right now we're waiting in line to enter the Minion Cafe. And uh, the line's not that long. It's moving pretty fast too. But if you're curious to ask what the hours of operation is, it opens at 10.30, and I guess it closes when the park closes. It doesn't really say. So we're here. The lady told us in order to get our food, we have to mobile order. But for some reason, if your app doesn't work, they will walk you up to the register. But before she walks away, she makes sure you can get on the app to order your food. So you see that the app is up. Each table has a QR code, which is right here, and it's telling us that we're at table 128. So all you do is scan the code, open it up, order your food. It's super simple. And then you got to pay on here as well. So I just pulled up the menu. And so what we have here is something called Despicables. El macho salsa y salsa. Ropa vieja. That's one of the few Spanish phrases that I know. Ropa vieja. It means old clothes. Old clothes. That's what it means. It's shredded beef. There's also Carl's Crispy Cauliflower, Lucy's Top Secret Salmon, Otto's Noodle Bowl. That sounds interesting. 
The Chicken Stewart's Sachuan Surprise for handhelds, they have Uncle Drew's Belly Filling Pork Sandwich. There's a Steak and Cheese Ray Sandwich. Sounds good. It does. It's $16 though. Off the Flames, there's Mel's Meatball Mountain. For desserts, they have a fluffy unicorn cupcake. There's a Minion Swiss Roll. There's Bob's Teddy Bear Chocolate Cream Puff. And there's Otto's Pet Rock. For size, they have coconut blue rice, they have green banana chips, and a mini banana. And there's specialty beverages, the PX41 Punch. You wanna get that? There's also the Antidote. Mm. So we're gonna get one of those as well. And so there's the menu. I feel like this was a hard choice because I didn't know if I wanted the Otto's Noodle Bowl, which looked really good and sounds good, but I ain't paying $18 for some noodles and some broth. Therefore, your girl is going to get the Uncle Drew's Belly Flipping Pork Sandwich. That sounds super good and it looks like it comes with plantain chips, which I love plantain. So that's what I'm getting today. I'm gonna actually choose my dessert now too and I'm like, I'm kinda torn between the fluffy unicorn cupcake or the minion Swiss roll or should I just wait and go over to that bakery? Decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna get the Otto's Pet Rock because it is peanut butter mousse and when I see the word peanut butter I'm on this peanut butter kick right now so that's what I'm getting and it's $8.99. I also just ordered the PX41 Punch. <laughs> My drink was $6.99. I didn't go on nuts and order everything on the menu this time. Let's see what I'll partake in on this wonderful menu. What selection? <laughs> the steak and cheese rice sandwich. Here. That is $16. I'm hoping it's delicious. How much are the noodles? But it's too hot to have noodles. Don't you, you think can't it's a little too hot? Have pork. There's pork in the noodles too? Yep, and pork in the broth. Uh, chicken Stewart's Sachuan Surprise. For $17, I don't want to be surprised. Tell me exactly what it is. Sachuan glazed rotisserie chicken. Oh, they do tell you exactly what it is. Sorry. Sachuan glazed rotisserie chicken, stir fried vegetable lo mein. Ooh, right. Crispy cauliflower. Yeah, I'll pass it. Hated it. <laughs> We're not doing that either. I'm getting the steak and cheese ray sandwich. $16. Can I get something to drink this time, right? <laughs> you got both specialty drinks? Yes. Ray got the PX41 Punch, and she got me the Antidote. And I want the purple one. <laughs> oh no, the Antidote is yours. Is no, banana mine is the PX41. No, I don't want that. No, mine PX41. I'm, I'm allergic to bananas. No. I get hives and everything. <laughs> I break out. I ain't bring my EpiPen. <laughs> You're still not taking it back. I don't know if you guys can hear in the background, but they got the Pharrell bumping. Yeah. The Despicable Me of Minion soundtracks. <laughs> It's not just Pharrell playing in the background. This is my song right here. Take Me On by AHA, I think. <laughs> it's one of my favorite videos of all time. Take on me. That's one of my favorite songs, y'all. I want to let you guys know that they do take an annual pass. So I was able to save, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me. $8.92. I just got my drink for free, basically. That's how I look at it. I'm gonna try the PX41 Punch. It comes in this really cute souvenir cup that you get to take home. Has a little purple hair on top and it has some Pop Rocks. Mmm, the Pop Rocks are already popping, baby. The PX41 Punch is supposed to be a lemonade with bright flavors like strawberry and kiwi with the evil minion color topping of blue raspberry and Pop Rocks. Honestly, this just tastes like a watered down punch. I think maybe the ice might have diluted it a lot. Maybe a fruit punch? It's really hard to pull up a flavor from this. I may get a smidge of kiwi. A smidge. Maybe it just had too much ice, but it's fun. While it is nice and cold and refreshing, flavorful, it's given quarter water. The ice may have watered this down a tad much. Yeah. So now I have the antidote and I'm the only one in my family that loves banana flavored everything. Well, the antidote is banana flavored with minion colored toppings with graham cracker crumbles and tastes like banana cream pie. Ooh, ooh. It tastes like banana cream, like a banana cream pie. That's what the whipped cream tastes like. Let me try the drink though. Sprite with banana cream flavor. I would keep coming in here just to get this drink. It is so good. If you are a banana lover like me, oh, this is good. We have minion tots right here. As you can see, they're nice and golden brown. Crispy, can you hear that? Can you hear that crisp? What minion did you get? 
I don't know. It's like a, uh, almost like a knish. I don't know, it tastes like a knish to me. Oh yeah, this is, oh wow. Is that a potato on the inside of this? Because it really tastes like a knish. This has some mustard right there. Oh, this is good, right? Try this. I'm getting him because he looks like me. Mm. That's the middle of it. What he said about a knish, I get that. It's like they took the potato apart, mushed them up a little bit like a mashed potato, and then put them back together and made them in the minion form. These are excellent. No ketchup needed. This minion, if I'm not mistaken, was in the movies. If you look close, he has on a guest jumper. And this minion is Donnell. It is Donnell. You didn't watch the Minions movie. It's I on, love the Minions. Oh, now it's in the end credits. <laughs> this is my little sandwich. And then June's. My sandwich looks like it came with a capsule of cheese as well. See this little capsule? It's a capsule of cheese. It looks like a real piece of cheesesteak without peppers. I don't like peppers on my cheesesteak. See the melted cheese on top of that? Mm -hmm. Nice and crispy and brown, just like I like it. Sound like a chip when you snap it. The only thing I would say about these is they need a little bit of salt. Because I don't taste any. So if you sprinkle some salt on this, it'd be perfect. I don't know if this is cheese whiz or not, but it's delicious. I will tell you that. Oh, and everything together. Oh my goodness, the beef and the cheese together with the cheese bread. Oh my. Mm. And the onions is good with it? I don't know about the onions, but uh, I'm not really an onion fan, but <laughs> I guess the onions are all right on there too. Mm. Let me take a bite. Mm. <laughs> Let me just take a bite. You can't eat my yeah. Mm. I've chased the caramelized onions like a lot. This is actually really good. I like how fine that they cut the meat up so they like they really put it on the chopping board and diced it real small. So all right, here is my sandwich. My sandwich comes on a pretzel bun, has some little salt on top. This is pork belly and it has a lot of fat on it. I mean, I don't know any slim pigs, so you know, it is what it is. We have some arugula. It's a Hawaiian pretzel bun and it's very, very sweet. They put an apple butter on here. Not bad, I think it, it has really good flavor. I just don't like the fact that it is extra. Look at my bun, it is so greasy. And then look at the back of my bun. I'm over here going this, and I'm like, I didn't put lipstick on, I didn't put chapstick back on yet. <laughs> it looks like little pieces of bacon bits. It's not, and when you go to chew it, it just dissolves on your tongue. It's like, ooh, what is that? It's good. Like I said, it's just, it's just a little messy. That's all. I just have to figure out a way to eat it. I got the uh, PX41 without ice this time because I really wanted to taste it. Yes. Now this tastes like a strawberry kiwi lemonade for sure. It tastes like Kool-Aid, but it's good though. <laughs> Now, what does it taste like? Purple. <laughs> quarter water. <laughs> it's not bad, though. I mean, because I like quarter waters. And last but not least, we have this cross-eyed rock. That's Rocco. Yeah, it looks like Rocco. <laughs> Elmo's uh, Ops. <laughs> Otto's Pet Rock is peanut butter mousse, strawberry jelly, crushed peanuts, banana cake dipped in a chocolate shell. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's cookie crumbs. I'm not sure if that's Oreos or those hydroxy cookies. I thought this was a hard shell because rocks are hard. Right, it's not hard. It's not really. It's like cracking like an egg. So look, is that mousse? Yes, yeah, peanut butter. Oh, that's peanut butter in the middle? Yeah. So I'm gonna take my little cross-eyed rock shell and dip it in the cookie crumbs. Oh, okay. Oh. So there's peanut butter and jelly. It kind of tastes like artificial peanut butter. Okay. It's very airy. I just don't really taste like real peanut butter to me. It very well may be real peanut butter, but to myself, it doesn't really taste like real peanut butter. I don't know what's wrong with June's taste buds, because I'm getting a lot of peanut butter. It's not like overpowering peanut butter, but I'm definitely getting peanut butter and jelly. I love the little jelly patty in the middle. The entire dessert is soft. You do not get banana flavor out of this dessert at all. Like I taste zero hints of banana. I like it. I like this song. Freedom! <laughs> the cafe is decorated real nicely. There's a uh, teddy bear. You see some bananas right here. Uh, not sure how appetizing this looks, but this minion 
right here. He's a chef, so he knows what he's doing, so we must trust him. But he has a wallaby with pasta in the middle of it, and I don't really think I'm gonna be ordering that today, but it uh, looks nice, right? Maybe? There's bananas, there's uh, more bananas, and more bananas. There's a ray gun here with, you guessed it, more bananas. Minions in peril. This is decorated very, very nicely. I like it in here. Look how cute. It's a banana cone. <laughs> it tells you that the floor is wet. That is so awesome. I just heard they have three secret menu drinks right here in the Coke machine. I'm gonna show you guys how to get to it, okay? Don't tell anybody, it's our secret. Press the little bolt. Okay, that's the bolt. We gotta put the passcode in. Don't tell nobody the passcode. Hey, I'm watching. Boom! You got three new flavors. I just unlocked three special flavors that nobody even knew was in this machine. So we have the Citrus Surprise by Coca-Cola, which is zero sugar. We have the Very Mysterious Powerade. And then we have the Fruity Phantom Fanta. They got a little foosball table with minions, look. You guys can actually sit here and dine at the table, which is pretty cool because the kids can sit here and play this while they're waiting on their food to come. They also have 33 ways to take a minion break right here on this poster. I'm gonna start practicing this myself. If you guys are thirsty, you can come over here and get you some fish water. Everyone likes fish water. Right here, you just help yourself and you got your little fish. <laughs> Don't drink the fish water, that's disgusting. It's decoration, just like the minions have to punch in. Minions have minion punch cards, so you gotta take the minion card and it has your name on it, babe. It's really the month, but I'm just pretending it's your name. <laughs> Then you gotta punch in. And then while we're still walking, there's a vending machine. It's really pretend though. Cause I don't think you can really, I mean, maybe you can buy a wig in a bag. They got a wig in the bag if you need to join the Eagle Hair Club right here. They got a fart gun. You can buy an ice cream sundae already pre-made in a vending machine and it's not melted. Here is where the minions come to work because you know the minions serve us when we come in here to eat, right? So this is where they keep all their supplies and stuff. And then Kevin has his own little file cabinet, which is pretty cool. Jerry, Tim, Phil, Bob, they all have their own. Oh, employee of the month. They have minion lockers. Look how cute the little lockers are. With all the little personal stuff in there. One has a, whoa, babe, that's an old school computer. This is a Game Boy you played back in the day, huh? Look at that. Wow, a locker full of bananas. So this is probably where they get our food from. We need to check on this employee because he has a chicken, like a live chicken in his locker. <laughs> this is a really, really cute cafe. I would tell you definitely come in here and sit down and eat. If you're not really big on eating, get a drink. Enjoy the theming because they did a fantastic job theming this restaurant. It is awesome. All right guys, I'm at Pop Banana where they have the cutest little popcorn bucket. I have to show you guys because I have to get it because it's a minion. I got my little minion, look at him. Why is my minion dressed like Cameron? Ah, but look, he has popcorn in him. <laughs> look at that. He costs $31, $31.92, but if you have an annual pass, you save like $4, so he only cost me like 27 bucks. So that's gonna be a wrap here from Universal Studios Florida. We wanted to get on Villain Con Minion Blast, but it was closed, so there's that. Minion Land is beautiful. The theming is great, I love it. It is. And maybe one day we can get in here and check out Villain Con Minion Blast and show it to you, share as much as we can. We had a great day. We did, we did. And yeah. I got my cute little popcorn bucket. <laughs> He's ready for the Barbie movie. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out with us. We love each and every one of you. And until next time, mwah, bye. bye. We will talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye.